Hey, what's going on everybody? Check it out. We're back at it again with another lesson. We're going to be talking about hexatonic scales, whatever that means. Let's go. So you may be thinking hexatonic scale, what the heck does that mean? Uh, yeah, that was corny. Anyway, it actually means exactly how it sounds. So let's look at the actual word. If you look at the prefix of the word hex, H-E-X, that just means the number six. So six note scale. That's all that means. Sometimes I wonder where these names and the different terminology come from for these musical terms, uh, but don't let that trip you up. It's just a six note scale. So a six note scale, basically take that regular seven note scale that you already know. Let's take one note out of that. Let's omit one note. So let's say the fourth note. Boom. Hexatonic scale, lesson over. Let me explain a little bit more. <laughs> so in comparison to a regular seven note scale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the octave, it's just omitting one note. So from root to octave, but it's six notes inside of that. Okay, so don't let that trip you up. Just taking one note out of it. And I like to take out the fourth note only because that four almost sounds like you're sitting on it and it just sounds like you're playing another chord progression if you're playing like a song. So I like to think of it as like another melody form, like a phrase. It sounds more like a phrase or a melody versus an actual scale when you omit that four, when you make it a hexatonic scale. So it sounds a little bit more melodic, right? So since this lesson was so short, I want to give you guys a couple of exercises just to get you used to the hexatonic style of scale. So let's play it the first way. So second position, normally the normal way that we will play that. So we have two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four, but hexatonic scale, two, four, one, four, one, three, four. Also, one thing I wanted to mention is when you think about it like that, think about it as a regular scale, but taking a note out or a pentatonic scale, here's that tonic word again, penta five note scale. So pentatonic scale, add one note to that. Okay, so a six note scale or a regular, you know, major scale. Okay, so you can think about it two different ways. So adding a note to a pentatonic scale or omitting a note from a regular major scale or a regular scale period. It can be any scale. So I don't want you to think or get stuck on the fact that it has to be a major scale. We can do that with all of the scales and I'll show that to you just uh, in a minute. So there's two different ways I want you guys to get used to playing this scale. Second position, first position, or you can shift with the first finger. Same exact thing. I just feel that playing them in several positions allows you to open up your hand or just open up the possibilities just a little bit more. Once you play it in that first position, it just opens up your reach and allows you to explore a little bit more. So I recommend doing them in both positions. Okay, so the next exercise I would like you guys to attempt actually requires you to know the modes what the fingering is for the mode, the properties of the mode. So learning that before you attempt this exercise is vitally important. So here we go. We're gonna start on the same exact note. We're just in the key of D for this case. So the Ionian scale, we're gonna omit the four for each mode. We're just gonna stay here. Next mode, Dorian. You can even switch up the fingering for each mode. Say for instance, the one that we just did, the Dorian. Very nice fingering, I like that. So next mode, the Phrygian mode starting on D. And now the Lydian mode, and for this one, just for reference, we're omitting the fourth note. So for the Lydian mode, because it's a sharp four, we're just gonna omit that and it's gonna sound exactly like the first one, the Ionian mode, watch. So now the mixed Lydian mode, we're gonna omit the four, but play that flat seven. And now the Aeolian mode, omitting the four. And last but not least is a Locrian mode. And just remember it's a minor scale with a flat two and a flat five. So those are all of the modes. Once you get comfortable with playing them with omitting that four, I know it's weird for right now, but once you get used to that, just play them back to back and just hear the different sounds and tones you get out of them. I wanted to play that in the same exact key center just because you'll hear the difference. It's very slight, but I want you guys to challenge yourself and challenge your ear to hear the difference between all of them. So Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, uh, Mixolydian, 
uh, Aeolian and Locrian. Just go through all of them and play them in the same spot with omitting that four. That'll get you used to the hexatonic style or sound of this whole entire concept we're talking about. So make sure your notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise. Uh, this is a very simple concept. And make sure you try to use a metronome when you're practicing exercises like this. If you guys like this video and you found it valuable, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Also, if you haven't subscribed, hit that red subscribe button. Uh, hit the notification bell icon too. It's crazy because we just hit 100,000 subscribers uh, in August 2020, if you're watching this later, August 2020. So super, super dope that at even happen, reach a milestone like that. It's pretty crazy. Uh, thank you guys for coming along on the journey. Uh, share this video, like I said, if you got value from it. If you know somebody else that will get value from it, uh, it'll be great if you guys can just be a part of the fam. Also, last but not least, if you're interested in becoming that killer bass player that you always long to be, Bass Nation Academy is where it's at. I'll leave the link in the description. There's a crazy membership area where there's video Q and A. You can get personal feedback from me. Uh, there's live classes. There's other access to other instructors inside of the Base Nation Academy, not just me, other killer instructors and teachers as well. Uh, that's just the tip of the iceberg, but check it out. I'll leave the link in the description or you can watch it or click here. Um, I say watch it. You can click here somewhere on the screen. I'm sure it'll be here. Uh, but anyway, if you're interested in that, check it out for yourself. Three day free trial. Nothing to lose. Anyway, also not to mention it's only 10 bucks a month. Anyway, make sure you know so come on out clean, clear, and precise, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.